The following are the standard terms used to describe the hull of a ship, even before it is put into the water. These first few terms are fairly basic. Depth is the height of a hull from the highest point of its main deck to its lowest point. In the other direction, a ship's beam, or breadth, is its width at its widest point. The center line is a vertical plane that runs the length of the ship at the midpoint of its beam, and the base line is a horizontal plane perpendicular to the center line, located at the lowest point of the hull. The keel is the principal structural member of a ship, running lengthwise along the center line from bow to stern, to which the ship's frames are attached. The lowest point of the keel, or K, is the point from which vertical distances are measured on a ship. K is located at the intersection of the center line and the base line. The water line is the intersection of the surface of the water a ship is floating in with the sides of the ship's hull. When a ship is designed, the naval architect determines the design waterline, or DWL, that represents the waterline of a ship under full load or maximum draft conditions on an even keel. The forward perpendicular, or FP, is a vertical line drawn at the intersection of the design waterline and the foreside of the stem of the hull. The after perpendicular, or AP, is a vertical line drawn at the intersection of the design waterline and the aftmost point of a ship's hull. For most commercial vessels, this is generally where the rudder post is located. Midships is the horizontal point halfway between the forward and aft perpendiculars, and the length between perpendiculars, or LBP, is the total horizontal distance between the forward and aft perpendiculars. Length overall, or LOA, is the total length of a ship at its longest point. Note that this may be a little longer than the LBP because a ship can extend slightly past the perpendiculars. Distances on board ships are measured in one of three directions, longitudinally, transversely, and vertically. Longitudinal is the horizontal direction along the length of a ship. Longitudinal distances are measured from one of three places, the forward perpendicular, the aft perpendicular, or midships. Where longitudinal measurements are taken from will vary from ship to ship. Transverse is the horizontal direction across the beam of a ship. Transverse distances are measured port or starboard from the center line, with one written as a positive distance and the other as negative. It is not standard which is which, however, and this varies from ship to ship as well. Vertical distances on a ship are measured upward from the baseline or lowest point of the keel.